For those of you thinking, where the hell is he? This doesn't look like the studio. Well, that's because it's not. Unfortunately, my dog is ill, and in order for me to get this video edited and out in time for you guys, I need to get it filmed today. So, with my kitchen. And this is our conclusion on the Ubiquity Access Point. Okay, so I've decided to do things a little bit differently. It is the following day, and I've come back for my lunch. So I decided to try and get this thing together. Um, so I'll show you what I'm doing a little bit differently. <clears throat> we are now going to be implementing <coughs> an eight port switch, rather than reusing the BT router as a switch. And the great thing about this is it's got a PoE port on it, which is awesome because that means we can just power our access point directly from the switch, which is awesome. So, I guess we should probably make a start to this mess. Okay, so I'm not sure why, but for some reason that POE port just doesn't want to work. It won't power the ubiquity. So I'm going to have to go back to the POE adapter. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that. I do have a white LED on there now and everything looks to be connected. Obviously, this is ridiculously messy, but I do plan on cleaning all this up at some point and uh, mounting this to the wall. So, we'll just leave it for now. So, you're sp supposed to be able to set this thing up using the app, so that's what I'm gonna try and do, although I've never been able to do that in the past. Looks like I have to do this the old school way and download the software. So let's go do that. Okay, so I've actually read the instructions now, and all I've got to do is scan the QR code, that is, on the back of the access point. Now actually, if I remember rightly, I saw Linus do this at one point, and he said, after he got to this stage, he had to reset it manually by pressing the button on the actual access point, and this looks like it's hung, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So I've reset the access point. My phone is still scanning for the new access point. It does seem to be back online now, which is ace. Okay, so we are connected. I have got the access point here set up. It did need a reset, by the way, so if you're gonna be purchasing one of these, make sure you remember to reset it after you've changed the settings the setup options and we're all connected and now it's time for doing some testing okay so i'm starting off with a speed test from ookla and my god it is improved wow i mean i know i'm sat right next to it at the moment but um my actual download speed here is 72 meg um and that's hardwired in but on the wi-fi on the old bt router i was getting about 30 meg download speed and about 12 meg upload um, and as you can see there that has just increased my download speed massively so let's take a mooch around the house and see if we can get those speeds elsewhere back at the top of the house because this is where i stay and we're going to test speed again from the top of the house so this is as far as, as far as far as anyone's going to be away from the access point Okay, so it's dropped a little. Ping's still the same. So downstairs, right next to the access point, we were getting 54 meg. Whereas before, on the BT router, right next to it, I was getting 35. Upstairs, I was getting somewhere near 20, 22, on the download speed for the BT router. So the download speed has dropped coming upstairs um, using the Unify access point, but it's still better than what it was on the BT router, which is awesome. I'm getting about 35 meg download from the top of the house. 
upload speed is still the same, so that's awesome. We'll test it one more time just to confirm that. And that was actually really, really easy to set up. Um, I wasn't sure how easy it was gonna be. Um, sort of using the phone one. I've used the Unify software before, and that's pretty simple, uh, but you've got to, you have to make sure you install it on something that's on the network. And I do have a server that runs um, on our network all the time, but I didn't really want to bloat it down with any of that kind of stuff, so I thought I'd just try it. And I'm really, really pleasantly surprised, actually, that it's set up and it's all working so quickly. It's absolutely great. So yeah, I've just done it again. I'm actually getting 37, 38 meg download speed, uh, which is just awesome. And practically full signal, full, full signal bars, which is great. So I suppose that's pretty much the setup process. It was really quite straightforward. Scan the QR code, put in your new Wi-Fi settings, uh, whatever you want to name the SSID, password, all that kind of stuff. Um, make sure you hard reset it, um, boot it back up, rescan for network devices and you'll find within the Unify app and then you find the new access point and that's it, job done. You connect to the Wi-Fi as if it was any other access point. Um, and that was that was really, really easy. Um, so I suppose the next thing to do is try it over the next few days. I know for a fact uh, we run a Plex server, so I'm gonna be streaming stuff from the server. My girlfriend will be streaming stuff from the server as well as uh, a ton of other stuff. Um, so we'll test it out for a couple of days and then we'll get back to you uh, once, we, once we know where we're at with it from there. Okay. All right guys, time for our conclusion on this video. Is the Ubiquiti access point, which I've got here, the pro version, worth it? Yes, absolutely. It was the first time I had used the uh, mobile phone app to actually set it up from scratch. I've deployed these quite a few times in business environments, three or four of them all in one go, but I've had to download the software, install it on a server or a machine that's just uh, generally running all the time on the same network and get them all set up that way, uh, which is great. It works really, really well. It's fantastic software, but I wanted to try it out on the app. And like I said, it was the first time I'd done it and it was awesome. It was really, really easy. I'm surprised I've not done it before actually. And so I will definitely be recommending these to friends and family in the future and obviously to you guys. Those of you that were watching will have noticed that I already had the modem and the router sort of split up. I had a, a Draytech modem, the 130 and PF Sensebox in there as my router slash firewall. So I'd already repurposed my ISP router as a wireless access point and after I'd done that, I did actually see a lot more stability on the network. I had frequent dropouts before, whereas now I don't get any dropouts. I've got full signal, everything was fine. The speeds I was getting right at the top of the house, which is where I am mainly, because that's where my room is, were about 25 meg download speed on the Wi-Fi. Now we're getting 35 with this. So it definitely helped. There's been, a, there's been an increase in speed, so that's been really, really good. And that was essentially what I was looking for because I already had the stability anyway. So, so that was great. Hopefully you guys like this video and hopefully if you're looking to implement something similar to what I've got here, you know which access point to go for. I think you can pick these up for somewhere near 80 to 90 quid maybe. I'll leave a link in the description and that'll take you straight through to somewhere where you can buy it in the UK. If you like the video, like it. If you didn't like it, hit the dislike button. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content and yeah, hit us up if you've uh, got any ideas for, new, for future videos. Cheers guys.